Hello everyone, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker on Retro Arena. I wanted to show you guys a few changes that have been happening recently since the last video to the build for Tomato OS. We got a couple things given to us to use by Big Boss, who's a Discord user. I also want to give a shout out to Mafti for all his help. First one here is we got the commander working. So now we have the ability to move and delete files and edit files and all of that good stuff. Now, on the game side of things, there's been a couple of developments. First one that I want to show you guys here. Let me get over to the... One of the systems where it is. Oh, here we go. This will work. So, for certain systems that it makes sense that there's multiple ways to launch it, you'll press X here, and it gives you a menu. So, for here, you got three different options for how to launch your Nintendo games, NES. Oh, also, for you can use uh, FFmpeg for 480p videos. 720 is a bit slow, but 480p is fine. So for the launcher there, the same is true for Game Boy. See, there's three different ways to launch it. Also true for Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. Excuse me. So as you can see here, there's multiple different ways to launch now. I'll add it to, like I said, all of the systems that make sense here for MAME. I'll do it for Final Burn as well, I'm pretty sure, because there's so many versions of Final Burn. Mega Drive as well. But for stuff like, say, SNES or Mega Drive MSU, it doesn't make sense to do that because only one emulator or core properly supports it. Something else we got from Big Boss. So when you go to Pico 8, you'll also press X, and there's the Lib Retro cores. But also, for people that have the Raspberry Pi 64-bit version, you can actually use your binaries here the same as you would do on ArcOS or Retro Arena. So you'll be able to just use regular Pico 8. Shout out to the dev of that as well for all the help and permission to use it. And Big Boss and Mafti for all their work. PSP, the Vulcan part of it, is still under construction. Should be done hopefully in the next few days. Um, it works better with OpenGL now than it did before, but Vulcan is still going to be there for that as well. Oh, wrong thing. So, for Super Nintendo, for example... Trying not to make this video too long. Just showing you guys some of the changes that have been going on here. You can directly launch the Splore from here as well. The logos here have been fixed for swapping sound effects, logos, background music on off, swapping that file. Moonlight here does work, and I will do a video on that, but I'm not going to do it in this video. I want to give it its own video because it will take a few minutes to explain and show everything as I go through it. So I'm going to leave that to be its own separate thing. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there, though. It's about all I wanted to talk about. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.